Welcome to Your City Connections, where you get to meet entertaining and informative guests. Guests such as an artist with a brush, or with a camera, and guest with a violin. City Connections, providing insightful interviews with favorite son, Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb. To City Commissioners, the Mayor. Interviews with a Rodeo Queen, to Beauty Queen, and even a NBA player. Now, join Steve Kime as he discusses another engaging topic on City Connections. Hello and welcome to City Connections. Well, the Enid Roller Derby girls make a return appearance here in the Enid Television Network studio. We have a special guest today to tell us more about this, uh, this group and what they do in the community. My special guest today in the ETN studio is Nikki Sixkiller. Is that right, Nikki? Nikki yeah. Sixkiller. That's okay, correct. well, welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you for having me. Why don't you have a seat and join us today? I like the way you just kind of skated up there real easy. That's a lot more of a balance than than I can do. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not much on the on the skate. Well, welcome to City Connections. We're glad that you're here. A few weeks ago, we had the opportunity to visit with three of the other ladies that make up the Enid Roller Derby Girls. Right off the bat, how and why did you get involved in this you know this group? I grew up in the skating rink. Oh, you did? Okay. Um, that was what I did when I was a kid, like three nights a week. So when I heard of this sport coming to Enid, it was just, I have to do this. I, can, I have this useless talent, and now I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. Um, Enid Roller Derby Girls. What is, for people, they may have seen the title, they may have seen the logo, they may have heard a little bit about it, but what really is the organization all about? The organization is about empowering women. It is an athletic sports team. People join because they want to get in shape. They want to come together with other women um, you, and you, have fun. Do you have an age? Is there an age limit on participation for the women? Yeah. You have to be at least 18. Okay. That's it. There's, you're never too old okay. that you can be too young. Okay. So how can they participate? Is, is there a phone number? Is there a website? How, how would someone, a viewer, is watching our interview and they said, you know, I'm one of those like Nikki where I was you know, skating all the time and now as an adult, I want to do something more with my skating. How do they uh, get involved with your group? You can contact any Enid Roller Girl individually if you know somebody, or contact us on Facebook. Okay. Or email Enid Roller Girls at yahoo.com. You were talking about people get involved or young ladies get involved because it gives them a chance to, to stay fit, to stay active. Are there any other goals that you have? For, to give a reason for people to participate, besides the exercise and the fitness part of it. Um, as individuals to participate, you, you become a part of something. Okay. Uh, I have met so many great people playing this sport, um, women and men. And we have, we've had refs that were men and our coach is a man. Um, so it's not just women. We have uh, non-skating officials who are, who are men also. But um, you, you develop friendships and you meet people that you wouldn't normally meet outside of Derby. Okay. Different ages, different walks of life. Okay. Um, you, you come together for the same goal. You support each other, encourage each other. How long has the Enid uh, Roller Derby Girls been in, I guess, in operation? Has it been a year? Is it this, several years? Or how long have you all been together? This is our fifth season. Um, the Enid Roller Girls was founded in 2010. Okay. So, August, I believe it was. Okay, so five years now. Mm -hmm. uh, what changes have taken place in the past five years, do you, th do you think? The biggest changes have been just recently in this year. Um, we're practically a whole new team. Uh, we're under new management, new coaching. Um, we're run by the skaters. We make all of our decisions. We, we take votes. Um, so you, you cover all your expenses to participate in yes. this, right? I mean, you're not paid to do this at all. You see this as an opportunity to, to, to stay fit and stay involved in the community, but 
you basically are paying your way to participate in oh, that. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, with, with the Enid Roller Derby Girls, how many other teams are there in the state of Oklahoma? In Do you Oklahoma, know? Um, Because I think there's an Oklahoma City team, right? There's a couple of okay. Oklahoma City teams, and there are eight right about eight that I counted. It's kind of rough because there's some new up and coming okay. teams. And where are they located at? Do you um, know? There, Tulsa has a team, Oklahoma City has two. Um, the Arbuckles have a team, South Central Roller oh, okay. Girls, that's who we'll be playing. And that's down by Ardmore in that mm -hmm. area there, I believe, okay. Um, Lawton has a team. Okay, so they're spread out all over mm -hmm. the state. So where do you have your events? I know that you've had some events uh, three or four events this year. Where are the events? Uh, we have them at Skate Town and at the Event Center. Okay. So why, why, what would be the main difference between Skate Town and the Event Center? Is the Event Center just so much larger of, a, of an audience or what? Uh, generally the uh, audience is a bit larger at the Event Center. Um, they do a lot of advertising, okay. the, they serve beer, people like to mix beer and sports. <laughs> okay. um, Skate Town's nice, it's more up close and personal, you, you're a lot closer to the track at Skate Town, so okay. they both have their, their the, positive. The, the, the audience that attend, I mean, is, is it, I mean, you, you mentioned, the, say, the adult beverage, but I mean, is, is it, uh, do you encourage young people to attend? Absolutely, is yes. It a, is it a family event? I guess is my question yes. is for, for all walks of life. As a matter of fact, uh, children 12 and under get in free with a paid adult. Because um, I know kids sure, you know, still like to skate. And I know my daughter did when she was much younger. She always enjoyed skating. So I would imagine that if you have young people that are coming to your event, they would look and say, well, you know, later on when I become an adult, I, I may still get to skate. So it is family oriented in that it regard. It is, and some of our greatest fans are those little kids who come down to give us high fives and get okay. our autographs and after the game and take tell pictures. us. Yeah, they take pictures with us and tell us who's their favorite skater. and. You said kids under 12 get in free. So what would, uh, if you have an event coming up, and uh, typically they're probably on the weekend, is that mm -hmm. right? Generally on a Saturday. So what would it cost to adults to come to one of your, your matches? If, a if you get your tickets in advance, which you can get them through the event center from any individual roller girl or at E-Town Vapor, um, if you get them in advance, it's $10 per adult. So two adults and can bring their kids for 20 bucks. Okay. If, you, weigh, if you get them at the door, it's 15 per ticket. For, for our viewers watching this show, they may remember the roller derby competition back in World War II days, the 40s and the <laughs> 50s and 60s. What would you say, uh, not that you were there in the 40s, but based on the sport, how has it changed? Oh, it's changed tremendously. Because people may be thinking of the roller derby of, well, there was a lot of this and that and fast skating and it was on a bank course and, and things of this nature. So overall, what are, what are some of the changes? Um, we do play on a flat track. Okay. It is not banked anymore. We wear full protective gear, helmet, mouth guard, wrist guards, elbows, knees. Um, <laughs> Sounds like my kind of sport. Yeah, <laughs> that there is no elbows everywhere. to the face anymore. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, oh. there's no <laughs> forearms. There, you cannot, just, you can't just whack somebody in the face. They've oh. made it a lot safer. Okay. Uh, yeah. My nose is still straight, and I still have all my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Due to the revision of the rules. Yes. So, when we had the the other Enid Roller Derby girls on our show, uh, we had our live TV show some time ago. Uh, they were talking about a lot of the events that you do in the Enu community, that part of the proceeds you give back to local charities. Mm -hmm. Why is that the case? I mean, I admire you for it, and I think that's very admirable, and I think any entity that has the capability to give back to the community, why is the Enid Roller Derby, Derby Girls involved in giving back in that financial way? We just want to be involved in this community. We want to give back. We're not making any money out of it. It's a it's not a professional team. So if it's 
not for profit. It's not officially not for sure. profit, but we're sure. not profiting. So why not just give back? We need Enid to support us and help us to grow and expand. Um, and so we would like to give back to Enid. Okay. I need to make a clarification of a statement. I've, here I've been talking to Nikki Sixkiller. That's her stage name, her show name, or your roller derby, derby name. name. Derby mm -hmm. name. And really this is Bonnie Ludlow, uh, my guest on City Connections. So Bonnie, forgive me for using both names. You're going back and forth. You're probably more familiar with the Nikki name yeah, than, I'll than, go either way. than you are. So that leads into my question. Why do you have a derby name, a stage name? Is that just the fun part of the event? It really is just a fun part of roller derby. It's something that's just kind of carried along with the older roller derby tradition. Okay. Um, so if someone who has multiple personalities, right, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they want to go by another name, Roller Derby is a sport for you because you can come up with the, right, the other name, right? That's it. And <laughs> it, Nikki Six Killer is much meaner than Bonnie Ludlow. It is. It's almost an alter ego. I'm, I'm not sure which one I'm talking to right now. <laughs> That's a good thing I'm sitting down. I'm so, con I'm so con confused. Bonnie, in conclusion of our interview, um, you know, this will air on the Enid Television Network a variety of times. And so I just kind of want to give you the opportunity to really offer a word of encouragement to someone that's watching. They may need, they may be right there on the fence and say, you know, I need to get active again. I used to love to skate and I know I can skate again. And maybe I didn't need to meet someone. What would you say as you speak to the camera? What would you say to, to the young lady that's watching this saying, you know, I think that's for me? that I would say then just do it. Come and join our team. It, and they can come watch, right? You can, um, they can come watch, okay. but you don't even have to skate to be a part of this amazing group of people. Uh, we rely on our non-skating officials. Um, you don't want full contact. We rely on our referees to officiate. We rely on volunteers. Um, so if it's something that you've thought about doing, you're thinking you might like to maybe possibly do it, just come check it out. Come talk to us. Come see us. We're friendly people. They will embrace you and, and find a place for you. Very good. So you have your invitation to join the Enid Roller Derby Girls. And one of the reasons that we wanted to just bring this uh, uh, interview to you is because again their 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 heart that they have to be a part of the Enid community but also the fact of giving back their part of their proceeds to local charities they're in the business of having a good time and being active but they're also in the business of giving back to the community so uh, Bonnie Ludlow and Nikki Sixkiller both of you thank you for <laughs> being on City Connections thank you very much for having me and uh, we appreciate you joining us and thank you for joining us on City Connections and we look forward to visiting with you next time. Until then, make it a great day.